Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to Yas Marina, our favourite track in the game, of course. Let's see what this game has in store for us, other than first lap carnage, second lap carnage, and third lap carnage. I'm guessing not much else, but we'll see. As we come around the first turn, it's actually been alright, not too bad so far. Gaining a couple of positions here in our Honda NSX 92, a very good car. Tuned by ERS Sterilizer for those of you who are interested in getting this tune. So coming through the second turn, we've got a couple of guys off to the left hand side there. Coming along the Mitsubishi here, and then out of nowhere, Porsche comes and strikes me. And fortunately, he's only wiped himself out into the chicane. I've been lunged from both sides, all angles of attack here. Coming into the hairpin in 10th position. BAC Mono tries to chop me off from coming off the track. And I go back past him, remaining in 10th as we approach the long straight here at Abu Dhabi. Here's the uh, trolling livery Gran Turismo. There you go. Have that turn 10 as we come down the back straight. Looking for a breaking point. Probably the first uh, breaking board. No, the one next to the curb. That's the one I always go for. And it seemed to be a little bit too late, actually. So we're going to be a bit deep. Fortunately, there's no one next to us. The Lancer takes a very poor line through there. And we're through past him into ninth. Into what has got to be the most cutted, most cut chicane in the game. Definitely. This one coming right up. So let's see what kind of carnage we have. We've got a very big gap ahead of us. So there's going to be no issues there. But are we going to get side swipes? No, that's good news. So coming through, get a little bit too sideways there, lose a bit of time. We've got a BC Mono here, uh, going very slow, go around him. And we've got another guy here, slow as Shelby, I believe. So let's try and get past him. Don't quite have the legs. This car is very good handling-wise. It is a little bit down on power, so I could perhaps get a different tune, um, trading some of that handling uh, for power. But it is very good around these turns. So going up the inside, not quite there, so I have to back out. And go for another move another time. It's coming into the last two corners on the track. The mono there is still right behind us. So I have to be very careful. Coming into the second to last turn. He's right on our tail now. Coming into the final turn. I give the Shelby a little bit of a tap. I don't think it affected him too much though. Then the mono comes out of nowhere. And goes for a lunge. I don't really think I caused that. At least I... Well, I, I did push that guy ever so slightly. But I don't think it would have made a difference. I think the mono was still coming up there anyway. So coming through the first turn in seventh now. What can we do from here? The gap ahead is maybe about two or three seconds. I see a bit of smoke though. So that is good news for me. I'm going to gain on these guys here. Trying to keep on the track just about. Um, keeping two wheels I think on there. So coming into the chicane. The good, uh, good corner cutting chicane this one. As pointed out in my video. There we go. The guy there has utilised that to full effect. And he slides himself out nearly. Tries to regain control. Then goes for a move. All four wheels off the track. Comes back. And there's going to be a drag race up the straight. He's not giving me much space here. And then as we go up the straight. He's just going to turn across ever so slightly. Almost wipe me out. Luckily there wasn't enough of me there. Um, and I know people are going to comment this. That I turned left. I didn't. It's what happens when two cars are like that. If one turns across the other, your car will go to the left. That's what happens. Or the right if you're on the other side. But anyway, coming into the chicane, he's just going to go flying across the the track there. Look at that. Gains quite a lot of time. As we proved in my uh, corner cutting video, I gained nine seconds around here in a Lamborghini. So there's a lot of time to be gained around this track. The Shelby's coming back at me. So I'm going to go defensive, but he's still going to go up the inside. So fair enough, give him the space. As he's still there, no, he's backed out. There's a guy very wide here, Caterham. So going to let him come back on. There he goes, across the grass. And we are coming into the 90 degree left here. A lot of 90 degree turns, especially through this final sector of the circuit. So we are about halfway into the race and we are in eighth position. Can we gain a couple from here until the end? Coming up to the uh, Caterham again, this car will certainly have a lot of handling ability. But I think it's down the straights where it will struggle to keep up with some of the other cars. A lot of track toys um, employed in A-Class. A lot of people do like the BAC Mono, the Caterham. Um, those kind of cars very popular in the A-Class lobbies. He's gone very defensive, the Caterham, actually. So that's given him a very poor exit. And that's me past him into 7th again. BAC Mono up ahead with a very dubious overtake. 
through the final turn. He's got past the Lotus there. So heading into turn one, they are side by side. The Lotus and the Mono. The Mono turns across, wipes out the uh, wipes out the Lotus. He goes spinning, but then Karma strikes immediately and he spins out on the curb, and he's out. He is gone. The curb there obviously did not like what he saw, and spun him out deliberately. Good work, curb. Thanks for that. As we come through now in fifth, top five, pretty decent. The top four here have maintained a decent gap to me. That red car there has pretty much stayed about three or four seconds ahead of me for the entire race not quite able to gain. I think this is a very good car, this one, the Honda NSX, but I think this track does require a lot of power, which this car doesn't really have. It's kind of a point and squirt track, this one. Get your car around the very tight corner and then just immediately get loads of drive out. It's one of those tracks that requires very low down acceleration. Of course, handling, most tracks do, but a different type of handling through this one. Very tight, narrow corners with a lot of openings for acceleration. But coming into the chicane here, we can have another point and squirt section here into another long straight. So this is where the power of the car, ideally if you have it, will help you uh, in these races with lap time. But looking on the map here, there's a big gap between me and fourth. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to rely on some sorts of problem from the top four uh, to, for me to gain any more position from here to the end. Uh, if not, it's pretty much me, a bat um, me battling the guys behind, trying to stay ahead from here to the end of the race, which might be difficult depending on how many corners they're cutting or how many um, exits they're extending. But we're going to see here, come into the hotel section for the third and final time. This corner is really tough to get uh, correct on the entry. Do manage to nail it here. The again, this car really has good handling and it will um, do very well around this section. I saw a proximity arrow there, so the guy in the cage room there getting very close. I'm getting quite close. Pushing right out to the outer wall there. I remember Mark Webb actually hitting that wall in a Formula 1 race a couple of years ago. Kind of shows you how much room you can take on the exit. So we're coming to the final turn of the race, and we are going to finish fifth. Not too bad for this, um, for this car around this track, but a pretty pleasing race to try and... Uh, complete in the end. So a pretty uh, funny race against that Mono. He was kind of cutting so many corners, wiping people out, and then he got a bit of karma coming to him. The curb struck back and wiped him out. But we're going to go to a bonus clip here. Same car, but around Rio. Let's see what we can do here from fifth position once again. Into the first turn. Guy is sideways completely. I get lunged from this guy. But he spins out. I get passed by a Mono. There's a big pile up there as you would expect. Well, yeah, pretty much 100% of the time you'll get some sort of collisions around that first turn of Rio. It always happens. Oh, we've got a massive contact here. Oh my god, that guy's done an ender. That guy's done a 900 spin. That guy's hit the wall. Absolute carnage here. Absolute scenes going on through the chicane. Couldn't quite keep it together. And these guys have spun out, leading to a two-way battle for the lead. We've got a bit of a gap here, so I can afford to be a bit more patient than I normally would be. Going straight across here, we're not doing the long version. It's the medium version here. I am right on his tail. He is under pressure right now. Into the left-hander before the tunnel. He takes a poor exit there. I'm going to go around the outside of him as we approach the tunnel. Can we go around the outside of a BAC Mono in the tunnel? That is testament to how good this car is on the grip side of things. Just going around the outside of a Mono, you do not see that very often, but it has happened. So yeah, this car is very good grip-wise. He goes through the inside. He's going to go way too deep. And he's not got himself a very good exit there. So I take him back on the exit. And we are going to uh, win that race comfortably in the end. But that is the end of this video for me today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. Hit that like button as well if you did like the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Goodbye.